With an average annual rainfall of only 15 to 20 inches, in eastern Washington we have to plant our winter wheat in the fall. Soft white winter wheat, abbreviated SWW, gets its name from the winter season that it lives through. The wheat can get a head start in its life cycle, spending the winter developing a deep root system and getting ahead of the game before spring. We get most of our moisture in the fall and spring and have very long, dry summers. Every other year, the ground is left fallow to let the soil rest and to allow enough moisture to build up for a wheat crop to grow. Roundup is now used to keep the ground entirely fallow. In the years the ground is planted, most of us use no-till. However, there are still people north of the Snake River who plant with deep furrow drills as early as the beginning of September, still using steel to kill the weeds instead of chemicals. This is different from the practice in other regions that grow wheat by planting in the spring. Those regions have an overabundance of moisture in the form of rainfall, while we have a deficit. We fertilize the soil to allow for a 120 bushel wheat crop, if the moisture is available for the wheat to grow. There is no irrigation here, other than what comes from above. A dry winter and spring can mean crop failure, and this is not an uncommon event. We all carry 80 or 85 percent of our average bushels to the acre in crop insurance, which allows a farmer to keep farming even after a bad year. Crop failure happens here when the rain doesn't fall, or even if it falls, it may be too late. Once the wheat is at a certain point in its life cycle, it can be impossible to get enough rain to reach the required yield to make a profit. For example, this year we had a bumper crop, but many farms failed to make a profit because of the relatively low price of wheat. That means that the farmer himself is making less than his employees, if he has any. The input costs are so high in the form of fertilizer, herbicide, and fungicide that the $5 a bushel price is not enough. Despite all this, it is a hopeful time for us when we have all gotten our wheat into the ground. Freezing temperatures at night will slow the growth even more, but we are still hopeful that all the wheat will come up and that the price will come up too. I, as a hired hand, now have less to worry about when it comes to the crop, but, and this is a big but, if a farm cannot make money, it cannot pay its employees, and it can't get the fertilizer and chemicals needed to make the whole operation work. Banks are hesitant to give out operating loans to farms who won't make money, and so are chemical distributors. No one wants to have their equipment or crop confiscated by the bank and put up for auction to pay the bills, but it does happen. Farming isn't all sliding big equipment around on the hills, but tractor time is over for this year. Please continue to support this channel as it goes forward and consider donating at our Buy Me A Coffee page at buymeacoffee.com slash Trevor Struthers. We aim to educate and inform an ever-confused and misinformed public about the realities faced by those of us who are still trying to continue the legacy of our family farms. Big corporations will one day phase us all out with robot tractors and algorithms to tell them when to plant. For now, though, we are still looking for spider webs on the wind in early fall to tell us when to plant. Our grandfathers and their grandfathers before them were farmers, and we will continue to pass down our farming traditions, even as they slowly disappear. Never plant your wheat more than a pointer finger deep, or about ten times the size of the kernel of wheat, if you want it to come up. It will come up right away if you plant it in moisture, if you can find any, that is. You have a good one. have a lot more so the blame and the shame's on you for being so damn poor it ain't the price gouging and it ain't the inflation it ain't everyone above you trying to make a buck from you in school and the whole congregation i had that reduced lunch i had the benefit cards never occurred to me to blame my family for life being so damn hard i should have paid attention Back when I was in school Then I could figure up the tax I would know a lot of facts I missed the class where they taught the rules I was memorizing capitals I was in the spelling bee I must have skipped the part Where they taught the art of private equity I was selling chocolate bars I had a disorder I was cutting up a frog Got lost in the fog Learning how to play recorder If you only worked a little harder a little harder uh -huh. if you
worked a little harder. Ah, if you worked a little harder, then you'd have a lot more. So the shame and the blame's on you for being so damn poor. It ain't the banks, and it ain't the taxes. It ain't the payday loans and high rent homes and predatory fees and practices. Wave your dumb flag, whatever it means. You should ask yourself when it comes to health of the poor, really all that free if you worked a little harder. Uh -huh. If you worked a little harder. Uh -huh. If you worked a little harder, you'd have a lot more. So the blame and the shame's on you for being so damn poor.